Yo, what's going on out there, YouTube fam? This is Sammy Lake here, representing Team JVS. I'm back here again for another reaction. My man, Jarrell's Alexandria. Um, yesterday, <laughs> yesterday, Jarrell was absent. I didn't, I didn't hear anything from him personally. I sent him some messages, um, and this is all surrounding, like you see from the title, Snyder Cut confirmed my thoughts, and then with his abbreviation wrong. One of the things that Jarrell's has said, somebody had already spoiled it for me, I'm not going to spoil it for you guys. I'll let you guys just watch. Is that, you know, he didn't think that the Snyder Cut was going to happen. I had a conversation with him prior to all the videos I've made recently that I felt like eventually it was going to come out. I just thought, in my head, like, it could be 10 years, it could be 5 years, it could be 2 years. I, I don't know. Either way, I still had, you know, an interest in seeing it regardless. So I was like, I was definitely down to see the Snyder Cut because, you know, I've done a whole documentary on it. I've, I know what was taken out. Um, I pretty much can guesstimate, you know, how much it was actually done and how much they're trying to add to it. There's definitely a lot of dimensions in between with them making it as a series and adding to it moving forward. I don't know if you guys have been seeing what well, ATT is sitting there stumbling around with your boy David Ayer. I don't know what they're about to do with that. Either way, I'm definitely excited. I know for a fact Jarrell's didn't want this uh, at all, nor did he care about it. He wanted to really kind of put it to rest. I think some people have kind of was like coming for him uh, in terms of like like trying to say like you were wrong and this and that. And I was like, I, was, I told him personally, I was like, bro, forget the naysayers. At the end of the day, it's just the movie. If it's good, then great. Let's talk about it. If it's not what you want, if it's not your forte, it's not something that you even want to acknowledge anymore, then you don't have to. You don't own anybody one way or another, to take a quote from Martha from uh, Batman or Superman. But either way, um, I definitely told him, I told him, I was like, I'm going to react to your video. He said, quote unquote, this is one of his best videos. So I, I'm kind of scared. So here we go. What's the Snyder Cut Challenge? Oh, that's right. <laughs> that's right. Fans think the Snyder Cut is coming with it. Okay. If the Snyder Cut gets released by 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 if the, if the Snyder Cut gets released <laughs> here or any time before 2029, if it gets released uh, then or any time before, if if Snyder Cut gets released, <clears throat> literally go out buy new pair of shoes. Uh, and I, I'm, I'm gonna eat it. I'm, I'm gonna eat. I'm gonna eat my shoes. Okay. <sighs> I was wrong. I was wrong. I was wrong. I don't care. It happens. If you want to hate on me, oh that's fine. God. But just. Realize that at least I was willing to admit. I know he's not about to do this. Straight up. I know he's not about to do this. That I was wrong. Jarrell is one of the I most entertaining YouTubers you guys know. Honestly, subscribe to this channel. If I'm please. just being completely transparent. I thought that these fans were delusional. <laughs> Hell, even Zack Snyder at times was unsure whether this this cut was ever going to see the light. I was literally convinced that the Snyder Cut was never going to be released in the near future. And holy sweet titty Jesus was I wrong. Now, we'll get to the obvious momentarily. But, so about 20 million or 12, 20 million plus is being pumped into the Snyder Cut to, to finish it. And unbelievably, it's going to be released on HBO Max in 2021, which I already pre-ordered, by the way. <laughs> Personally, a 2021 release date is a major letdown for me, personally. I'm telling you, had this released with the premiere of HBO Max 
fully finished, the fucking multiverse went cracked. <laughs> this was such a huge missed opportunity. And granted, it's coming next year, and it's probably gonna be like four parts or six parts or whatever the fuck, but I, I just think a huge I got a comment to that. Was missed. I got I a mean, comment to that. But I was oh my god, could you that. imagine if it was fully finished? Okay? Premiering when HBO Max was premiering? Oh my god. I mean, it'll make a splash either way. <sighs> but still. What a missed opportunity. Honestly, I just want to look at this whole thing positively. Just because. <laughs> Why not? I'm too tired to be negative. Most of my days are spent hating myself anyway, so... Honestly, I'm just choosing positivity... Just because. And though I have grown to hate all editions of BBS... And I've grown to hate, obviously, 2017's Justice League... Intensely and violently, watching the Man of Steel watch party, the live stream, oh, was watched goosebumps it. inducing. He watched it? I, I didn't love that film. I didn't know The that. watch party has got me hopeful for the, the Snyder Cut. The, there's, there's potential. There's potential. I'm willing to go that far. <laughs> I mean, it's it's at least got to be better than BBS and whatever the previous Justice, Justice League iteration, <laughs> right? I hope. I'll 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 review it, the Snyder Cut. I will review it, but yo, the same that it's not on my most anticipated list is a huge understatement. Like you gotta realize, I genuinely, genuinely hated the theatrical edition of Justice League. And of course, I'm going to watch it. At first, it wasn't going to. But, but, but what, what comic book fan is not going to watch this? Okay? Uh, tw 20, <clears throat> uh, 2020 has officially lost its mind. <laughs> Fuck. What did I do with my remote? I lost the remote messing with your ass. Fuck it. Whatever. <laughs> it's, it's fucking fine. You know, I... Fuck. <sighs> so, anyways... Oh! Shoes! Yo, what are you doing, bro? Bro, what are you doing? 
That is not, that is not healthy. That is not healthy at all. You need to cut that into smaller pieces than that. Yo, he, uh, he's taking a little bit of, uh, what's my movie from Pulp Fiction? No, no, not Pulp Fiction, but, um, Silence of the Lambs. I forgot that character. <laughs> this man's real crazy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Yo, this man's crazy. This man's crazy. I don't got no comments. I don't have anything. He said it all. I'm actually surprised by some of the comments that he made. Um, I forgot my train of thought what I was going to say. Like, I was legit. I had a whole comment that I was going to say. What was it? Man, he just threw me off. The man threw me off. Oh, my gosh. This man ate some shoes. Um, What was he saying? Oh, missed opportunity. I think that before the end of the year, I think that to pump um, HBO Max, they're going to come up with a trailer. There's going to be some kind of trailer that we haven't seen of it, existing content of it, and I think that that is going to be something that's going to tide people over. I mean, just having it in general, pretty dope. Um, but I think that they're going to come up with an actual trailer, the combination of all the different pictures and stuff that Zach has done through Vero, and I think that's going to get people hyped, and I, that's a theory that I have. I don't have any proof behind it, but I really do think that within the confounds of HBO Max, they're going to come up with an actual trailer that's going to set and platform this for everybody. And I think they're going to have trailers for different stuff, like the things that are to come for 2021, <clears throat> just to kind of like push it. Anyway, let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Please, please subscribe to Charles Alexandria in the comment in the description box below, and uh, leave a like. Okay, guys. My oh, man, crazy, bro. Oh my gosh.